Hello Guard fans, last night Mordian Glory revealed a load of Guard leaks in his live stream and there's a few hours to watch so I thought I'd summarise it for you here. Mordian Glory is the place to go for Guard content so I'd encourage you to go over and check out his channel. His live stream did break part way through but I've linked to both parts in the description below. He said he had three sources for this and a lot of it comes from the beta testing codex versions that are out in the wild but as we know GW may change things but still it gives you a really good indication of the flavour. Let's jump straight into loads of tidbits of leaks. Lehman Russes lose grinding advance. We already knew this, but now it's confirmed. They still have their place in the army, as the Rogal Dawn tank will be expensive. Hammer of the Emperor is staying. However, you choose whether to have the hammer or use other regiment traits. There are no conscripts, no veterans, no special weapons squads. And some special characters are gone, like Pask. It's not a Cadian packed codex. There is a White Shields day sheet, however, and these are just better conscripts anyway. Platoons are back, which means fitting a load more bodies into your army. There's a new Supreme Commander that isn't just Creed. Artillery going to be good and generating a lot of mortal wounds. And Command Squads are back, built up with 9 of 10 in the squad, and they're going to be great. A few details about the long leaked new tank, Rogal Dawn. It'll be priced between 250 and 280 points before upgrades. Hits on a 4 plus ballistic skill, but has a turret special rule. And this is that turret guns get a plus 1 to hit. The tank will be T9, 17 rooms, 2 plus save, and have lots of new and powerful weapons. Let's jump into some leak details now, pulled from the stream. Overall, it seems that Regiment Doctrines have had a side grade, Borders are buffed, Warlord traits are a bit meh, and Relics are fantastic. So I mentioned you can choose between Hammer of the Emperor or picking two Regiment Doctrines. Mechanised Infantry disembark after moving. Parade Drill, if you stay still then Lazars go to Heavy 2. Armoured Superiority, counters more models on objectives. Blitz Division. Things in reserve cost half the price, so you can either put more in there or it'll be cheaper. And you can deploy into the enemy deployment zone from turn 2. Bombardiers, plus 1 to hit for artilleries. Heirloom weapons, plus 4 inch range for all weapons. Brutal strength, don't suffer the penalty of moving and shooting heavy weapons. And plus 1 strength for infantry in their first turn of combat. Grim demeanour, ignore negative modifiers for combat attrition. Guerrilla fighters, infantry and sentinels gain cover against ranged over 18 inches. Elite shock troops, reroll 1 hit per unit. Swift as the wind, infantry gets plus one move, all of the units gets plus two to move, and everything gets plus one to charge. Trophy hunter, plus one strength for attacks against monsters and vehicles. Recon operators, cavalry and sentinels get a pre-game move. These are generally just okay, a few strong ones and a few clear picks that you're going to take a lot. Now for orders, for infantry they're issued within six inches, for tanks they're issued within 12. When you disembark from a vehicle you can still give an order even though it's not the command phase. And they will spread to multiple units. Infantry orders first. First rank fire, second rank fire has been changed to move to heavy three. Take aim, plus one to hit and plus one AP in ranged. Fix bayonets, plus one to hit, plus one AP melee. Take cover, you get light cover and if you already have light cover you get dense cover. Move, move, move. Plus two inches to move and if you advance it's an auto six inches. Suppression fire, pin an enemy unit if you hit them five or more times. That means they're then on a minus one to hit afterwards. These are generally so-so and to be honest some of them have got a little bit worse. Tank orders now. Pound them into the dust. Blast shot calculation counts the target as being double models. This is particularly good for small squads of like three units, in which case you get a minimum three shots. Full throttle, two inches to move and counters stationary if advanced. Gunners kill on sight, reroll ones to hit. Blitz them, plus one to charges, impact damage on the charge and then plus one to your hit roll. Shock and awe, make your tanks obsec. And pinning fire, and against inventory, if you hit them five or more times, you subtract two inches from their move. Perfectus orders. Forwards for the Emperor, counters remaining stationary while shooting, duty and honour, perform actions if you're falling back or advancing and you can still shoot, get back in the fight, shoot or charge when falling back, add all costs, gain obsec or counters one extra model if you're already obsec, show them steal, show them contempt, plus one to leadership and a five plus ignore mortal wounds. Remain vigilant, you can't deploy within 12 inches of this unit and they automatically gain overwatch of five plus. Ten cases. These have moved to be points-based upgrades, and you can use them on all your battle tanks and super heavies. They're all different, they're all good, and there's no full payload. There's one without a confirmed name, and it's the lower tank to issue an order, and that order can affect Titanic units. So for the first time, your Bane Blades can get orders. Meticulous Calibrator, ignore cover for ranged. Mechanical Pack Rat, only wound on a 4+, plus, so that's transhuman on a tank. Veteran Commander, gains an additional doctrine. Knight of Piety, 5+, plus invun and 5 plus save against mortal wounds. Master of Camouflage, gain light cover for anything over 12 inches. And Steel Commissar, you know you perfect his orders in addition, and you can issue one extra order. Warlord traits seem a bit weak. Frontline Combatants, 6 is to hit or two additional hits and plus one to wound. Master Tactician, redeploy three units. Grand Strategist, 5 plus refund CP. Superior Tactical Training, no another type of order. Old Grudges, it's a 6 inch aura plus one to wound. And lead by example, Issues orders to yourself. And the standout bit for me is all the relics. There are 10 now. 
Some key ones to pull out is you can issue one more order, have a 4 plus invuln for an entire unit that's got the relic in it, a Veil of Darkness type relic so you can redeploy a unit across the board, increase the cost of an enemy strat, you can give your infantry transhuman, and the classic Gatekeeper Battle Cannon replacement is now 72 inches, heavy D3 plus 6, strength 9, AP minus 3, and a flat 3 damage. Some really cool leaks here. So far, it's not looking like the guard are going to be absolutely meta-breaking, but we'll have to wait and see for the data sheets. Definitely go and check out Mordian Glory's channel. He is great, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.